this grand rising. To use words to explain it is hysterical, but we're gonna we're gonna attempt to use these vibrations, these sounds, to help explain everything. Um, because I've been given permission <laughs> as an airplane, this mechanical wonder. <laughs> is the glorious backdrop. <laughs> That's Pachumama. <laughs> she's everywhere. And she's so beautiful. Um, so, in words, we're not here to hurt anyone. <laughs> we're the children. <laughs> we're the children of our glorious Pachumama. And Pachamama is everything. I'm wearing her right now. <laughs> she helps keep me warm when I feel cold. She helps make me feel liberated when I feel like I'm being suppressed. So this whole glorious experience that we have here, it's what we call the earth. It's our heart. It's our heart on the exterior, or the exterior. Our hearts are the interior version of this love that we have for our mother. And we get to experience her internally when we go deep within and really look at ourselves <laughs> in the purest way possible. And it's not easy for us. Being her children, it's not easy for us to look at exactly what it is that we are and what it is that we've allowed ourselves to get caught up in. We've gotten lost in it. We've gotten lost in our own creations. We've gotten distorted by the very things that we create. And what we create is supposed to be fun, supposed to be uh, enlightening, supposed to be a sharing, uh, a giving freely. <laughs> but we get caught up in those creations. We give them idolatry. We give them power. We give our creations power. And that's where the demons come in. When we give what we create freely so much attention. Notice everything right now in this modern uh, era, if we can even call it that. But it, within this level, within this understanding, within this uh, ability of grasping right now in this modern era, we are pulled <laughs> so dramatically uh, into some sort of single vision. This idea, I don't even know what the idea is. It's like a non-life idea. It's like a death idea. It's like not allowing ourselves to really be and express what it is that we are. We want to become mechanical. We want to uh, allow our creations to control us. <laughs> is there anything more absurd? But that's what we're doing. And I think we're so lost in the system that we don't even see it that way. We don't recognize that the mechanics of the system uh, are basically being given the rule. They're being given the authority by us, the ones that created them. Our creations are meant to inspire but then they're meant to burn. So the postmodern idea, man, I can't stop spinning. <laughs> the postmodern idea of what you create immediately should be erased. That is the truth. If you give enough attention to your creations, you're gonna fall to distortion 
and you're gonna turn into, unfortunately, there's no other word for it. This is not meant to scare anybody. You turn into a demon. You literally turn into a demon. You feed the ego, you feed the idolatry, you feed the system. Look at how glorious. <laughs> it's so easy to be aware of Pachamama when we're in nature. It's so much more difficult when we're lost spending our time and our attention on the system. So what we call a job, what we call essentially making a living. I'm not demonizing it. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying we need to be aware of what it is that we're doing here and where it is that we put our attention. So the good news, the only real good news is that we are here to give freely. That's it. There's nothing else. We are here to give freely. All of our attention, all of our love, and if people are asking too much, you know, if we're all, we're all the children, okay? So Pachumama is all around us. The only thing that's Pachupapa is the air, the breath. That's Pachupapa. But everything else is Pachumama. And together, they've given us this gift, and the gift is the body. Not just the physical body, the ethereal body, the ethereal body, the mental body. We clearly have the ability to think. That's part of the gift. And the light body. So we use light. I mean, that's what it comes down to. It's as simple as that. Again, using words to help explain it all. It's always, <laughs> there's always gonna be something missing <laughs> when we use these vibrations to help explain it all to the children, <laughs> to myself. <laughs> um, we use light, so the light body. That is the gift that we have. And with that gift, we share freely. We share what it is that we can, which is essentially light and love. That's the only thing that we really have to give. The creations that we make are meant to be playful. They're meant to, like I said, inspire us, for us to have fun with, for us to enjoy. Because if we, you know, succumb to this idea that time is real, which it's not, but if we, we're playing in something that feels like it's, that time is, is, is real, then we should be able to create within it and be able to share and inspire within it. So I think, uh, you know, creating a space such as shelter, you know, these bodies, these gifts that we have from the mother and father, they require attention and they require uh, a safety, uh, a safe haven. So we should be helping each other to create shelters. Simple. <laughs> we can create other stuff too, like we've been doing for eons. But primarily, we need to be creating shelters for ourselves, for each other. And being able... <sighs> the most purest form of mother is water. That's how she comes into us and reminds us. So the purest water and the purest air is mother and father coming into the gift of the body. So after shelter for creations, we need to be able to be aware. How do we hold a space where we have mother available to us uh, as cleanly and as full of love as possible? The water systems that we have are not designed to do that. They're just not. They're trying to devoid us of mother. <laughs> so the silvery substance that we call water what we're getting out of our tap has been treated with certain things. The more that we take what mother is and we process her over and over and over, uh, it doesn't mean that she's not still there. It just means that it's harder for the gift, this body, 
the physical, the mental, and the light body to be able to receive her. <laughs> so when you're getting fresh mountain water, that water, <laughs> it's running through herself. It's like the blood of our mother, the blood of the earth. And it gets enriched when it goes through the rock, when it goes through the soil, when it goes through uh, the grasses and has the ability of touching other life within itself. When we drink that, oh, there's no, there's no holding it back. It's like, oh, <laughs> here she is. And we don't forget. We've lost ourselves in our creations, putting so much of our attention in those creations that the mechanical system is essentially trying to rule us with this one vision. And I don't know what that vision is, but I promise you, it's not something <laughs> that we're meant to get caught up in. Allow your attention to go back to your heart. Allow your attention to go to a space where you're here to share freely. The biggest thing that I got this morning, uh, I mean this rising, because this is not a sorrowful, this is not a sorrowful rising, this is a beautiful rising. Um, we're not here to hurt anybody. If you're in some way, some shape or form uh, benefiting out of hurting someone else or hurting groups of people or life, hurting groups of life. And that just doesn't mean mankind, womankind, uh, animals. <laughs> I mean, to think of how we treat what we call stock, <laughs> man, we are, we're pretty horrible. <laughs> We can do some horrible, horrible things. But to think about cows, to think about chickens, and sadly to say, to think about how we treat human life. <laughs> children, the way that we treat children, it's horrible. We're not here to hurt anybody. We're not here to hold anybody back. We're here to be a platform to allow all of mother and father's children to allow themselves to explore freely and to share freely and then let it go back to the soil so it can further nurture more creations. Is there anything more simple and beautiful than that? Let's create some shelter. Let's allow everyone to have those shelters freely. Let's uh, provide mother as water freely, bottled water. <laughs> Don't hurt anyone. Share in this gift that you have that we're gonna call the body and share the good news. Share it in vibration, share it in love, share it in sound. And don't let anybody tell you <laughs> differently. Don't let anybody tell you that you can't do it or shouldn't do it, or that you don't have it within you uh, to spread the good news. That is the good news. Everything around you is your mother. Everything within you is your mother. And the air is your father. And that's what animates us. That's what allows us to have this grand experience that we call life. And we should be so thankful for it, but also to live it, not to hold back and to actually live it. <laughs>